California to get himself ready for okay, this. Okay, ring the bell, start the fight. He says, uh, Moskayev, I think he's an easy target, a stand-up European fighter. I worry about his left jab and his right hand, but if I back him up, I don't think he can do anything about it. So let's see who backs whom up. Two very good trainers, Joe Goosen and Bob Jackson, two pretty well-schooled fighters. Each wants to impose his will on the other. And Whitaker's got to make certain that he keep you, take advantage of the reach advantage, keep this guy on the edge of your jab, right hand. Maskev, am I saying that correctly? Maskev. Maskev has got to make certain he keep a circle going. You don't want to back up. You jab, move to your left. Keep moving to your left. Don't go backwards. That's the only time the reach advantage can be an advantage if you go straight back. You can circle to the left or to the right. How many times did you fight Russians in the amateurs, George? I can't, can't remember. Were there some? There were, there were several, ah. right? Uh, to win the gold medal, of course. Yeah. Did you get yourself no, a little could, bit, do you feel like you got a little extra juice when you fought against a Russian? In those days, in those days, was, days you did, yeah. power days, you remember. Yeah, it's different it now. It doesn't exist now. Yep. Now, Whitaker's got to understand that this fella's just got knocked out. He's, he's insecure. His courage will not be the greatest, and you don't want to give him any courage. Keep him defending himself and thinking, I may get knocked out. But it's a relatively cautious first round so far for Lance Whitaker. You don't want this guy to get his courage back. Good right hand. Now Whitaker cracks across the top with the right hand. Moskiev was beating Whitaker to the punch. Looked like he was the one going to take charge. Let's see what effect that straight right hand has. And even when you're backing up a guy like Whitaker, you want to make sure you circle around, go around to his left. Don't just come straight to him. Make him try to find you with that left. Whitaker's using the, the left hand good now. Not a particularly high contact first round for two guys who can whack. Well, Moskayev goes in and just tries to start putting his hands on Whitaker. Whitaker pops him with a counter right. Moskov has got to make Whitaker bend down a little bit. He's too high now. Go to the body, make him bring his head down so you don't have to tap him. Go a straight right hand right to the target. Watching Whitaker, I'm reminded that years ago there was a six foot 10 inch heavyweight from California named Mike White, who never really gathered the confidence to think of himself as a serious fighter in the division. Whitaker too has faced a confidence building process, but he's gotten further through it than White did and has become a bigger force. You remember Mike White. That's good. That was a nice round. See, I like to feel him out like that a little bit. Get his mouthpiece out, you know, I'll just take it out. Now look. Stay off the ropes, okay? Okay. Here's what I want you to do. If you're gonna be stepping back a little bit, use your hook. Okay. But really to tell you the truth, I think you ought to be stepping around and not back. Okay. okay. Keep within punching range on him. Keep using your jab. But don't give up too much ground. You gotta know where the ropes are. Don't go back and sit on the ropes. You understand what I'm saying? Look, friends, come on. You had a round to look at him. You had a round to see what's happening. Stay off of that right hip. Heavy on the left hip. Work your hands. Hey. Seconds out. Stay off the right hip, heavy on the left hip. What's he looking for there, George? They probably have some kind of secret communication there. <laughs> it means nothing to us. And then when you're working with fighters, you got to have that kind of communication. One thing I did notice in the first round was that Moskiev threw more body punches than I've ever seen him throw before in a round. They think there's a big target in front of them, and they're going to go try to bring it down. It wasn't a lights out round for either man. Whitaker landing only four of 32 punches by CompuBox numbers. Moskayev 12 of 54. Moskayev seems to want to make more of a fight of it in round two. I think that he should stay, jab up occasionally, let him know you're in the business, Moskayev, but go to the body. Keep all the punches to the body. Hard right hand by Whitaker momentarily wobbles Moskayev. Whitaker trying to follow up. Moskayev not throwing back. Down goes the Russian fighter. Three. 
Four, and he doesn't look five, like he's going to get up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he did a second round knockout for Lance Whitaker inches him closer to legitimate title contention. And he did it with glancing blows, showing you the kind of power that Whitaker is beginning to build in his fists. Also, Jim, he was hit a couple of real solid punches by Moskiev, who's dented quite a few people. And you never saw Whitaker blink. If you ask me, it's, a lot, it's about mismanagement of a potentially good heavyweight Moskiev. You get knocked out, it hasn't been that long ago. Right. What are you going to match him with a big puncher like that now in his career? Now, you need to go back to learn how to manage fighters and just put them up here for Fascinating money. Fascinating question. You're what suggesting that Moscow man? should not have been in against a puncher in this no, fight. No, you got to get his confidence back. You hit him. That wasn't a dynamic group of punches that knocked him down. Nope, it was Lance It was just blows. that he hasn't even got his confidence back. Yep. Got the bill of man's confidence back. Go back to the Joe Lewis days when he was screened by smelling. They went on a campaign. I thought the comp- others seemed not serious, but that right hand that buckled him Right that there. One, right there. That was a real punch. And then this. And suddenly he turned southpaw and was throwing hard punches with his right and his left. That's a big man, and a big man can sometimes compensate for mistakes with that kind of arm strength. Or uh, that kind of mismanagement. <laughs> What do you think of George's point, Larry, about uh, a poor choice of matches for Moskaya? Well, I think, I think the point, the point <laughs> is a, a good point, but I don't know what Moskaya's alternatives were, what opportunities he had, and I think they thought that Whitaker was the kind of guy that could vault them right straight back into contention.